Hey folks, this is Mike Kabakungan with Inksys. With the release of Power Simulator 5, you will find that Power Simulator has been enhanced with improved performance, reliability, and usability. In this video, we'll dive into the Power & Light Company system and show you some of the cool new features of Power Simulator 5. The 100% web-based architecture promises rock-solid reliability, more intuitive control of the system, and the ideal setting for large-scale team-based drills. Many of the menus, the OTS controls, and the event log are very familiar. To begin, I will load the 6AM base case and click Start to run the simulator. Below the controls is the new info panel which shows session information and some useful graphs. Located here are the simulator time and your latency which represents your connection to the server. The graphical trends of frequency and load can be specified if there are multiple electrical islands and the ACE graph can be specified if there are multiple balancing authorities involved. This allows operators working in different areas during a group drill to easily see real-time trends in just their area. This concept extends to the updated AGC summary window, which can control and display color-coded trending of several balancing areas at once. Now we'll open the system map. The system map still opens in the northwest corner, but we can now click and drag on black space to easily traverse around the system or station diagrams. Users can open any substation in a separate window by holding shift and left clicking on any substation icon. Of course, I can still simply click on the home or substation to take us to its one line diagram. We can see here that breaker operation is much more fluid since dialogues now function within the browser. Now I'll click on the Homer Loker line arrow to see the Loker one line diagram. Say we want to ramp down Loker's nuclear unit. I can quickly set it to manual, adjust the set point and ramp rate, and click apply. The apply option is equivalent to clicking OK, but this way you can make several dynamic changes without closing the control window. Now to get back to the system overview we could click the system map button like in the past or we can click the new recall button. Clicking this from any substation one line will take you right back to your most recent view of the system map. Also right clicking any MBA pie chart will open an info window showing its line characteristics. These new features are just scratching the surface of what the new Power Simulator 5 has to offer. The new event recorder allows any user to create a custom scenario, and the new fault simulator lets a user set faults on any line or system equipment. These are valuable training tools, especially useful to those with custom Power Simulator. In later videos, We'll explore Power Simulator's new features in depth. To learn more about Power Simulator 5, please visit www.inksys.com. See you next time.